Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. How are you on this Thursday morning? It is the seventh day of uh, September, and the time as I make this is exactly four o'clock, and I mean right on the dot. Uh, hi, my name is Rich, and uh, our weather is simple for the next few days. There is a frontal system heading southward, which could touch off a couple of showers today. Uh, I've got the rain chances around 20%, but between you and me, uh, here in the I-85 corridor, it may, 20% may be too high. Uh, maybe a few showers uh, south of the front in South Alabama today, but the rain chances are minuscule. But the point is, the front will deliver somewhat drier air, noticeably lower humidity starting tomorrow, and that noticeably lower humidity will continue through the weekend. Nights will be a little more tolerable with lows in the 60s. And uh, of course, afternoon highs will still be in the lower 90s. But uh, again, the humidity will be more acceptable. Yesterday we had 94 with a heat index of 100. And I think we'll be in the mid 90s again today with a heat index, you know, sort of close to 100 because the front won't be able to give us the relief yet until we get back behind it uh, during the day tomorrow. All right. So our weather is simple. We're dry at least, uh, well, at least through Monday, maybe a tiny rain chance starting around the middle of next week, but no big ticket weather for us. The big deal in the tropics is right behind me there on that monitor back there. That is Lee getting stronger in the Atlantic. Now, 80 mile an hour winds on the new 4 a.m. advisory, uh, which just came out from the National Hurricane Center and uh, expected to become a major hurricane in about 36 hours and then a maybe category five hurricane or close to it in 60 hours. So over the weekend, we're talking about a big boy, a historic major hurricane, which will probably miss the Leeward Islands, now about a thousand miles from the Leeward Islands, the Northern Leeward Islands. Um, and it probably will miss the United States next week. It looks like, and you'll see the tracks below, looks like it's gonna miss the United States and pass off to the east, but it all depends on a trough of low pressure over the Eastern US. How strong will it be and where will it be next week? on uh, exactly the impacts Lee could have on the United States, all right? So that's a big deal though. All right, that's, uh, that's your weather headlines this morning, uh, your forecast discussion. All the details are in the blog section below. Hope you have a great day today. Today, everything is normal, live on the radio, six to nine on News Talk 93.1 WACV. There'll be another forecast discussion uh, and uh, video tomorrow morning before I get on an airplane to a weather conference. Uh, so that'll get, we'll get that out as early as possible because I've got a very early flight tomorrow. Otherwise, uh, your forecast whenever you want it across the dial on eight radio stations, that would be the Blue Water family of stations. Have a great day today. I'll see you later.